So what's up guys, it's Ben Abarim and you're tuning in to the Ben Abarim Podcast and it's available on YouTube, Spotify and Apple Podcasts and today is the 25th episode where I'm going to talk about a guy who loves dodgeball, he lives and breathes dodgeball and he's been doing it since, I don't know, 4 years and then uh, not F-O-U-R but F-O-R, 4 years and now we're going to talk more about dodgeball, what is dodgeball and how they come about and why is it here in Kuching what are, what are his goals and aspirations for the Kuching community of dodgeball and this dodgeball is pretty much new uh, probably you can correct me after this because uh, this is the reason why I brought him here I want to know about dodgeball and how people can join and um, stuff about dodgeball pretty much from A to Z so uh, without further ado, Darren Robin welcome to the Brain of Brain podcast man hello 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 yeah how are you, how are you? sorry all right, cut that off. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And you? How are you, man? I'm very, very good. Nice. It's a very long weekend. So it's a very long weekend. Cool, man. So we're enjoying ourselves, and here we are, Labor Day, doing podcasting. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. So how are you? How? What do you do last night, la? Last night, uh, mm. uh, Last night, I've been pretty much just managing some of uh, my uh, dodgeball work. Okay. So uh, we have a lot of events happening in a, uh, a few months' time, pretty much, and I'm gonna be having an international uh, competition actually next month. Oh wow! Yes. How many competitions are they gonna be like? Sorry, um. Uh, if we're talking about international, just uh next month. Mm-hmm. But if we're talking about local, probably another three, two, three more. I see. So, how busy can you be when it comes to dodgeball? Uh, yeah. Say uh, pretty busy la, because yeah. uh, Tuesday, Thursday we got dodgeball drop in session. Mm. Then Saturday, Sunday usually got uh coaching session with my mm. competitive players mm. and then. After that, you need to think about your full time work because dodgeball mm-hmm. is just a part time job, lah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It. So I just do it, and then I got full time job. Yeah. So pretty busy, lah. Yeah. yeah. Speaking about jobs, this is not a good question, but since you're talking about jobs, right? Dodgeball is a job. Do you actually get money out of this? Depending, or? depending on uh, who we go to. Mm-hmm. So let's say corporate, corporate uh, people comes to us, then we always ask for a service uh, fee. Mm-hmm. But if we're talking about like just uh, volunteer stuff, then we probably like we're gonna go school soon. Oh. That one we're probably just gonna try to, because our goal is going to try to bring it into a concrete one day. So we probably just gonna go there and like put it as a service. Nice. For ourselves. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're not even started, but we have dive deeper into dodgeball. But don't worry, we're gonna start with the basics first. After this, I'm gonna ask you more questions. But before that, I'm gonna kick start with this question now. What do you do last night? I think I asked you this, but again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask you. pretty much just managing stuff, a lot yeah. of stuff. Uh, if oh wait, yes, for dinner, dinner yeah, yeah. I was uh, I was pretty much alone at home last night, mm. so it was just a spoiler of moment, and I was like, you know what, on a barbecue. Oh right, so you barbecue on your <laughs> own or what? Barbecue. Oh damn. Own, yes, How can you do that by yourself? Uh, just we, we got a barbecue pit at home. So yeah, yeah, I know, but usually barbecue you bring your friends oh, and hang out. I don't know. I I'm very very. It's very normal for me to do things alone. Sure. Yes, I, I, I don't mind doing things alone. I see. So, uh, barbecue like three day pork and then like cook for myself, nice. uh, rice, all the stuff. So pretty cool. It was very nice. It was a very nice night because I felt very fruitful. Yeah, I've yeah. not been cooking for a very long time. It's yeah. been very busy. So you cook lah. Yeah. What What is your favorite dish to cook? To cook. Oh yeah. god, it's hot. Oh, um, childhood, childhood food that mm-hmm. my mom loves to cook. Mm-hmm. Uh, we call it what? Steam egg with uh, minced pork inside. Steam egg with minced pork. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sounds I good. Uh, it's something that you can get some uh, in in a tap farm shop lah. But mm-hmm. sometimes it's a tap farm shop very very small stuff lah. Right. So my mom loves to make it into a fluffy kind of cake. It really tastes like a cake. Uh-huh. So really nice. I liked it. Oh, nice. Can you successfully cook that? Yes. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Make sure. I'm a very huge thing. I'm like, if I like this, I want to try to do it. Yeah. You yeah. have to make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty <laughs> that, much, pretty much. Yeah, that is yeah. you lah. Mm. Yeah, it's a person. All right. Okay. Your favorite breakfast, what will it be? Oh. Uh, okay. Imagine this. It's a holiday like now. Labor Day, you have a long day for yourself. But t- today is an exception because you have podcast. But imagine if you don't have a podcast, right? Imagine if you don't have a recording. What would, where and what would you order? Where and what, Chad? Yeah. Uh, I would probably go for two things. Okay. And it's usually bread. Um, first one, right now, will be s- uh, smoked salmon and cream cheese. Smoked Bagel. salmon and cream cheese. Yeah. Bagel. Ooh. yeah I, I sound quite... 
Bukan dari sini Western ni je Sorry 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 sorry. Usually you go for Kolomi or laksa Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, just okay. feeling me. I, I think I makan too much laksa and Kolomi The past few days really so. Yeah So that is the first thing that pops in your head Yes last. Correct right. Where? Uh, right now there is one in the city I forgot what it's called actually But so, there is actually one in the city that sells uh, bagel, bagel with cream cheese So I don't know I forgot what it's called, but it's really, really good. Apparently, it's a huge rating. Around town, is it? Yes, in town. Oh, okay. Never, never heard of that, but yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. That would be your favorite breakfast for now. Lah. Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. How would you describe yourself? Uh, I would say I'm pretty adventurous and open. Mm-hmm. I'll say that. Uh, also, if I have a goal in mind, mm-hmm. I do my best to like achieve it at least. Right. You know, so uh, yes, I'm a procrastinator, but I also want to make sure that if I... Well, if it's something like I memang do it until kau kau lah. Right? I see. Like a do or die kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So adventurous, my maksud macam you ask me, oh, uh, you like what music genre? Mm. I'll be say I don't like anything. Right. Yeah, pretty much. The number one music genre. Number one. Uh, okay, currently you're listening to lah. Currently. Uh, 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 we call it. Uh, what do you call it again? R R and B. Okay, R and B. R and B kind of thing. Okay. Jazz, all those stuff. Yeah. Top artist. Top artist right now. Can I say a, a band instead? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Artist or a band, yeah, yeah. It's a very dokey band. It's called Scary Pockets. Oh, yeah. Scary Pockets. Scary Pockets okay. is a jazz. Joe, Joe. Band. Joe bassist. I love oh, him. Really? Yeah, yeah. Love Corey, it. Corey. The guitarist, oh, Corey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, you don't know, huh? Don't yeah, know Scary that. Pockets. <laughs> it's one of my favorite bands. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. really nice. Nice. Do you play instruments? Uh, Last time. So okay. I was in a band in Tengjo last time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I played the tenor drum for about oh, three four years tenor. yeah hey Saint Joe band is good man <laughs> uh, are you one of those that travel uh yeah so i went to travel to two places so mm. i went to singapore mm. and then i went to germany and then i decided to uh, focus my studies after that mm. pretty much you guys won yeah, no. we mm. did win we oh, did. Did. then okay. after that after i left i think two years later they went to new york oh yeah. okay 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 Quite cool, uh, quite cool. <laughs> there's this rivalry, that rivalry between Saint Joe and Green Road. So yes, yeah. There's always a lot of. How is it like as a Saint Joe guy, lah? Uh, is that, it like the, in the rivalry? rivalry yeah. yeah, the rivalry. To be honest, uh, the only time that we fought against Green Road was when I was in Form One. Oh. Ah. Uh, it was cool actually. We were very chill with each other. Like, ah. It's like, oh, uh, you did your best. We did our best. Let's do our best of that. Uh, something like that, lah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Then only when I was in Form Two. We decided not to go into the national uh, band competition anymore, and then we went to like international. So we never met them after that. I see. Yeah. Because as an outsider, right? I I I've heard stories about Saint Joe band and Green Road. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. These guys must be fighting for their <laughs> lives, man. Battling against each other, you know, being the top two bands in Sarawak, matching bands. But yeah, hearing from you, it's like, oh, okay lah. It's not that. Oh. Like yeah. we want to kill each other. <laughs> Probably it's not in my batch lah. Like yeah, yeah. previous batch maybe uh, yeah, 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 yeah. heard a lot of like you know Saint Joe Saint Tom yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Saint Joe Saint Tom <laughs> yeah. well. especially when it comes to girls you know ah, but, yeah yeah not, not not wrong there at all. <laughs> not wrong yeah yeah uh, so this juggling in between things two things three things at one time mm. it, it 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 has been there since forever lah can say so, can say like that mm. since. You were in high school, you joined um, marching band and then juggling with your studies and all that. Right. So they go into like a lot of high pressure stuff. Uh. Yeah, high pressure stuff. Yeah. They're more to who you are today. Pretty much. Yeah. I, I like grinding my brain. Mm. So I don't like to just stay alone. Like, yeah. uh, if I want to do it, if I want to waste my time, it will be maybe, you know, even my in game okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as I don't just sit there and do nothing. Do. Oh, yeah. As long <laughs> as you're not doing anything idly. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Pretty much you have to. You have to move. Mm, yes, right. yes, yes. So let's say right now again, what would you do if it's just you and your holiday right now? Mm. What would be the things that you're gonna do? Uh, probably just go right now. Cause coaching, I actually honestly, I just came back from coaching about a year and a half ago. Ah. For, uh, I was in Australia studies. Mm-hmm. I came back only recently. I would say I would probably just go and like travel around, mm. like road trip. I, I saw a friend of mine who went to this uh, very, very amazing mountain. Mm. They had like a night stay and then they watched the sunrise. Uh. It's amazing. Oh, here? In... Yeah. Oh, okay. It was at Bao. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. It's the damn cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Have you been there? Alone? Haven't yet. Okay. But I plan to do it. I, I plan see. to do it one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, good. yeah. I would say adventuring. Just go 
go around explore Kuching before I plan to go anywhere else after that. You know? I see. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um. Uh, okay, when you're sad, yeah, this is random. What will be the first thing you'll do, lah? Uh, when I'm sad. Yeah. What I do? Oh, uh, depending on how bad, how sad I am now. Okay. If if it's something where I can control lah, like let's say, oh, it's I'm sad, I will actually ask myself why lah, why am I sad, and mm. then if I can, go if I can. Answer the question, then I'll go mm. and try. But it's something I can't control. Then maybe I'll just cry it out, mm. and then just leave it be. Really, but I, I mean, you can't control it. You cry it out, go after perasaan, pasia, go in with life lah. Honestly, yeah, yeah. you have so much in life. You want to waste it with just crying. It's no point lah. Yeah, yeah, true. That's how. I, that's why I do lah for being sad. Mm. Yeah, but I'm an emotional guy. Uh, so being sad can be up to like one two months lah, three yeah, four yeah, months yeah. so I can yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. understand pretty much. You, you need time to grieve. Yes. Yeah, so that you do move on. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Correct. It's really yeah. all about like accepting what's happening lah. Pretty all right. Much. Mm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. So now we're going to the fun stuff. Che. We're going to dodgeball. Okay. Uh, Darren. Yes. How long have you played dodgeball lah? I've been playing dodgeball since about 2016, socially. Mm-hmm. Tapi we're talking about competitively okay. since 2018, around there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so about uh, seven years, uh, seven, eight years. Define competitively. Uh, socially, maksudnya, uh, if you're talking about competitive, we go to... You, uh, join, a, you join a group lah. Ah, we join a, a team, a club. Then we, f- we, we play in a league. Mm-hmm. So I was studying in Taylor's Uni in KL last time, mm-hmm. in 2017-ish. Um, we do at least twice a month league, so it's a league going through for about four or five months, and then there's grand finals at the end. Mm. So I was only able to join the rookie league, rookie. So we have like rookie, amateur, and then national uh division. Mm. I was able to only join rookie before I left to Australia. Mm. So competitively, is you play against everyone and then you try to win the the title lah of the yeah. rookie champion, national champion, amateur champion, cumela. I see. That's your com- competitive done And yeah. then after Taylor's, then you moved to Australia. Yeah. So I did credit transfer. Mm. I went to Australia to study at New South Wales. New South Wales. And then it didn't stop there, lah. Didn't stop yeah. at all, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us more, man. The, uh, yeah. In Australia, what happened with dodgeball? So Australia is a little bit more challenging right. because I if usually people think that Kuching or KL then. Yeah. Things around each other is very far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to Australia, everything is so far. You know? For me, going to Dodgeball takes about an hour to reach there by train. Dang. So imagine I play Dodgeball there about Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Mm. Um, all of that, I go there one hour, come back one hour. Yeah. So imagine like, in the train, do what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, it's challenging when it comes to. Uh, transport to go to uh, play dodgeball there but because of my love for dodgeball I went for it yeah. one thing I love about the dodgeball community in Australia is the the openness and how close everyone is with each other mm. they're not just there to play dodgeball and win the game right. they're also there to make sure that everyone understands how to play love the game love the community so that's one thing that I love about uh, the community there in Australia the big connections like. mm. Mm, pretty awesome. much and they're not only just in the state they're yeah. also throughout the whole of Australia so oh. yeah so I was one of their uh, part-time photographer last time mm. uh, during the grand finals mm. I was play. Uh, I, I took photo with uh, their Melbourne team New South Wales team all the stuff it was amazing they all love each other there was there was no hatred there was no ra- their rivalry was not toxic it was very yeah. healthy healthy kind mm-hmm. of thing, yeah. I loved it I see love the community there yeah. yeah. alright so that's in Australia. The story is Australia. Um, how often you play there again in Australia? Oh, well, Monday, Wednesday. Three to four. Yeah. Three to four. Three to four. Mm-hmm. Times a week. Do you play with? Do you play alongside Malaysians or are you the only Malaysian there that plays along with them? Unfortunately, I am one of the only Malaysians in New South Wales. <laughs> oh. Uh, most of the Malaysians go to Melbourne to study. Ah. Yeah. And I don't think if they come to Sydney or Melbourne, I think. 
if you're a Malaysian in Sydney, yeah. if you hear, oh, you have to go there for what? You need to take one hour to reach the dodgeball yeah, venue. Yeah. Usually, it's get, it gets dis- discouraging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah. unfortunately, there's a lot of factors uh, mm. that stops a lot of people to join dodgeball. I see. Right, okay, okay, okay. This is a question that I wanted to ask, but no mind lah. It will pop and I'll ask you lah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Why dodgeball is your favorite sport lah? Dodgeball is my favorite sport. Initially, it was because uh, it's a stress. Uh, initially, it's uh because it's a stress reliever and also it helps me with like you know um. You're capable. You're able to use a ball to shoot at people and then without feeling uh, any guilt. So in a way, it's it's good because sometimes you wanna just release your stress you know, in a way. You know, mm. but at the end of the day, as they, as I played dodgeball often, mm. I realized that it's not just only a stress reliever too. Um, it's a team sport, and one of the things that I love to do is actually managing, mm. uh, and also nurturing people. Yeah. So, as I played dodgeball, I realized that I can help people grow not only in dodgeball fundamental skills but also mm. in uh, soft skills. So I've been helping a lot of people with like leadership skills, how to make sure that they're able to uh, think critically and all yep. stuff. So I enjoyed that part of dodgeball. I don't mm. like, I, I don't only like the competitive side, I love competition. But the best thing about dodgeball is how you can develop people to be a better person. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I guess that's that's why I love dodgeball. Yeah. Mm. I mean, oh, sorry. No, no, it's okay. Go for it. Go for it. Playing, playing um, uh, from what I see in the video that you showed me about playing dodgeball, it 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 makes it you have this you have to have these two qualities you have to be creative you have to be critically in your thinking as well Correct. like you you have to be critical in your next moves you have to be creative um okay which one to hit huh? yeah. okay you have to be fast you have to be attentive and you have to you have to know what you're doing yes in okay. a very fast pace Correct. Correct. and that is something that you love yeah in dodgeball la. i always tell people uh dodgeball is like a chess it's like a physical chess. Yeah. You, there's strategy there, but everyone plays an important role yeah. to make sure that the team wins the game. Yeah. You know, like, uh, there's six people on, on court, mm. but in that six people, it's not, oh, this person shoot, this person shoot, this person shoot, this person shoot, you know? Mm. We only have like three, four balls uh, usually to your side, mm. and then everyone has a role to make sure that everyone can survive. Right. So if you have a ball, you want to make sure that people who has no ball is covered. Yeah. Or like, uh, you see a chance, you want to go for it, all those stuff, you know? Yeah. So, Everyone has a has has a role. It's not just to shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not just to attack, but also to defend. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Now I have the question ready. <laughs> um. Uh. After all those years of playing dodgeball in Australia, what is that vision that you see that you want to bring back to Kuching? Um, one thing that I want to bring back in Kuching, uh, other than j- aside from promoting dodgeball here, yeah, mm. is actually. Just how I can bring people up, you know, over here. Um, I realize that Kuching doesn't actually have a community uh, sport. They have co- a lot of community events, but let's say a sport event. Like some people who love to play sports but are not uh, physically inclined, mm. you can come to dodgeball because we play uh, dodgeball Tuesday and Thursday socially, you know. So you come here, you want to play, you want to just chill, you want to sit down. Mm. Go for it, you know. Mm. So that's one thing I want to bring back here. I want to make sure that people know that uh, Kuching is not just a place for people to, uh, weekends, uh, uh, yeah. uh la, all those stuff, yeah. or like events where you have to just the only events you can go for is like music events, you know. Yeah. I want to make sure that people know that oh, there's also dodgeball, there's yeah. also sports out there. Yeah. So I guess that's that's why that's mm. what I want to say. Yeah. Which, you wanna you wanna bring out the um. You know, Kuching is famous for badminton, yes. futsal, football, basketball. You want to add another sport, say, hello, there's dodgeball as well. Exactly. Notice us. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to bring in Kuching. Yeah. La. I see. It's like, in KL, right? It, not, not in KL, it's like West Malaysia. Yeah. Everywhere in West Malaysia right now knows dodgeball. I see. You datang to Kuching, kan? everyone's like, apa ya? Mm. Dodgeball ya? Uh, that was me as well, ah, to be exactly, honest. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't know, but... I guess one thing about dodgeball is because you know it's a physical sport, right? You have to throw to people, right? Sometimes people don't uh, see it as a scary thing. Yeah. If you throw a ball, usually you get hurt. But usually the ball is uh, made out of foam. Mm. 
Ah, yeah. I see. So you won't actually get hurt. The hardest you can get is maybe just a slap. Ah, yeah, I see, much. I see, I see. How much is the ball? Uh? Yeah, very oh, random. Oh, oh, oh. How much? How much is the cost? It's not a. It's not a typical ball, right? It's not a typical ball. Yeah, you can't uh, find it anywhere in this kuching sports shop. Shopee. <laughs> oh, Shopee. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, it's actually very expensive. Mm. It's about for one set, which is six balls, around four hundred, five hundred. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. For six balls, yeah. four to five hundred, yeah. and you have to have twelve balls. Uh, six balls. Six Officially, balls. six balls only. Oh. So you just need to buy it one set. Okay. Pretty much. Eh? Um, can't tough ka? Like six, six. No, no, no. Right. It's three, three. Oh, three, three. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. It's only uh, if you play two courts, then you need to. Oh, okay, okay. So in a competition, maybe la. Yeah, yeah. I see. Hey, you don't mind if I drink this. Hey, drink, 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 drink. House, house, house. Drink, drink, drink. I know your house. Take your time, bro. No worries. But yeah, um, <coughs> it's very expensive. When I was, maybe when I just started, it was actually just like 300 bucks. Mm. I came back from Australia, I mm. throws, I was like, oh, you know what, I'm going to buy balls. I thought it was going to be 300. You see, you know, because also we're in uh, East Malaysia. Yeah. You need to think about the shipping fee though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, it's like 500 bucks. Like, nah, yeah. shit. What am I supposed to do now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really sad, but it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. We call, we call dodgeball, in a way, the young adults rich men sport. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, golf. Like. Golf, yeah, yeah. <laughs> golf is for the rich men. So, yes. dodgeball is for the young adults <laughs> rich men sport. <laughs> yeah. So, that's why, like, you know, when people play dodgeball, right? Yeah. There's people grip like that, loud, like, throw the ball on the floor. Wow. Oh, my heart is a kid, you know. Please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so, right after Australia, you came to Kuching. Mm. Right. To pretty much settle down, work and all that. Yeah. So all those, all those things that you have gathered, all this uh, experience that you have experienced while in Australia, you want to bring it back to Kuching. Yes, exactly. How it started, dude? Uh, <laughs> it's funny story. It's just because I, I very itchy head. Okay. Uh, I was like, hey, you know what? I want to play. And I know two of my friends here in Kuching that uh played dodgeball mm. back in KL. Like it's just a friend that I know that. I was like, you know what, hey, bro, you want to play or not? And then, I'm like, okay lah, you know what, just go lah, just go. So we went to Ariana Sukan and we played on this random uh, Saturday afternoon. And we were like, okay, uh, let's just try to bring whoever we want. On that day, we only had seven people. Mm. And usually, f- seven people can only make one team. Mm. Like, see, you know, we just play for fun like three to four, all those stuff. Mm. So we just started with that. It's just like a random day where we were like, I very itchy on the play. Mm. So we did that. Uh, next thing you know, uh, I think uh, on a random we we change here and there here and there and then next thing you know on a Sunday afternoon we get more more participants who wanted to play mm. that was when I was like you know what I want to make sure that I can play every single week yeah and when that happened I decided to start doing social media stuff uh, advertisement mm. I actually had to learn how to actually market mm. I need I needed to learn how to do algorithm in Instagram to yeah. make sure that people are that people around me know Dodgeball yeah. what, what's the proper tagline yeah. to use yeah. when you advertise yeah. and stuff so you have to boost your advertisement yeah. Yeah. it's a lot of work honestly yeah, yeah. but I enjoy it. I really enjoyed uh, the work of marketing yeah, yeah. so it's cool. it's cool a lot of work and money as well <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you how much yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know bro I know yeah, because bro. I paid for my Instagram as well oh. I know how much but yeah I don't go extra la, but for you I think you've you've gone extra la. <laughs> yes, yeah 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 mine is just 100 plus but still 100 plus is money so yeah alright um okay so now that it's pretty much active mm-hmm. dodgeball uh, Kuching Dodgeball Association KDA mm, right correct. okay KDA what is your role here in KDA? I am both the founder and manager mm-hmm. of KDA. So mm-hmm. meaning to say, uh, outside court, mm-hmm. I'm in charge of making sure that everything, both external and internal, uh, goes smoothly. So external meaning to say events. So let's say competitions, community tournaments, or any coaching open that we're going to be having soon, mm-hmm. uh, is going to be run smoothly. Even... Uh, organizations coming over for us to do a dodgeball clinic oh. I need to make sure that that, that goes well you mm-hmm. know? Um, if you're talking internally that's going to be about both all three days so 
Tuesday, Thursday drop-in sessions and also Sunday coaching. Mm. So I need to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Mm. Uh, when we have this certain amount, how many teams we're going to have, how many clubs right. we're going to have, right. uh, social media, making sure that all the uh, Excel sheet, the website is ready mm. for the next week to happen. So there's a lot of work mm. uh, in my job, but I'll say because I have a good amount of people, like I love my community, my committees, yeah, yeah. I have a total of 20 amazing committees. I see. They've really, really lessened my burden. Yeah. So I enjoy my job, not because I have to do it, mm. but because... I want to do it. I see. Yeah. Cool, cool. It's part of the passion as well. Correct. Mm. How long has it been? KDA? KDA started unofficially on February. It was a, that's where we did the seven people. That's mm. right. Uh, officially on 1st of July. So it's not even a year yet. Yeah, 1st pretty of July much. last year. La. Yeah. Mm. So 1st of July, right until today, how do you define, how would you define the experience? How would you? Uh, roller coaster, honestly. Yeah. Uh, started with a lot of anxieties whether or not it really will happen mm. and then people coming over to actually show support people because mm. i thought that dodgeball uh because it's a new sport no people not many people want to help out yeah and next thing you know i uh, the community in dodgeball itself started to grow and people actually love each other mm. and i guess because of that the community and the culture that we built yeah it made me want to make this really happen yeah so it started with just anxiety. It grew into a really loving uh, community. Yeah. And it's something that I want to try to maintain as far as long as I can. Mm. Pretty much. So, yeah. I see. Um, Alright. Since it has not... It's almost a year mm-hmm. for KDA. Um, do you see the um, the pattern of those attendees? Are they actually those short kids who used to study in KL used to play dodgeball or are they just random people who want to try something new how do you some, see the pattern the pattern some 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 are actually from uh, KL and also Miri uh, so the other dodgeball club or dodgeball that's happening in Strong is actually in Miri Curtin oh yeah, yeah. so there's right. actually another dodgeball club there um, so there are some people who come here um, but most of our people here actually are either a friend of a friend of the dodgeball commu- uh, people mm, brought mm, them here mm. or just random people I see. so we have like really huge potential people here who comes from different backgrounds that came from uh, our events so we had like a swimbin dodgeball play before yeah. we, got, we brought some people and then they stayed so it's pretty cool so the pattern I would say is just it's all over the place um, we get a age range from 18 to even up to 50 years old yeah it's 50 we have like um, aunties coming over to play and like a few of them are actually really good oh really well. yeah. cool 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 I see alright so that's the pattern of mm. dodgeball community you wanna add up your beer first yes, before we continue on this is our first time actually meeting yes actually yeah, yeah. <laughs> how's your first impression of me you're a cool guy. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think of me? La? Um, very, very sociable, actually. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, the reason why I say... Oh, yeah, continue, continue, continue. Um, I don't know how to say this, but... Um, you don't show a lot of emotion to your face. Oh, damn. Yeah, okay. surprisingly. So it's really hard to read you. But you're a very social, sociable guy also. Alright. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers, dude. Mm. It's only 11.47, <laughs> but it's 5 o'clock somewhere. You're right. You're not <laughs> wrong there at all. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Oh, and also, this is very random. For someone who's been studying in Australia, you don't have the accent, dude. Dude, um, a lot of people <laughs> say that, man. I revert back. A lot of people say that. I did have one. Uh, yeah. But I, I was like, you know what? I cannot lah. Cannot yeah. lah. I'm just going back there. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, dodgeball. Okay, imagine this. I'm new. Uh, obviously lah. I never played with them before. So, okay. I'm new and I want to play. So, what, do you, what are the things that I need to know about playing dodgeball? Um... Yeah. Is it like before you come into court or like? Uh, I'm here at arena. So what should I do? Ah, okay. yeah. 
pretty much when you come to the drop-in session, the first thing we want you to do is make sure that uh, you that feel comfortable. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Right, right. I just want you to make sure you you feel comfortable. Mm. So um, we'll probably ask you to just uh, usually I'll ask the community to if we know that you knew because uh, that's the one thing that I want to make sure community mm. you need to make sure that you know who's the regular, who's new. Um. If you don't know if you they're not new, make sure you approach them. Ask them to come in mm. Pretty much you know So let's say you're new mm. We'll usually come to you like Hey Are you new? Mm. Uh, my name is Darren uh, And uh, let's say uh, A friend of mine uh, Let's say Brian we'll Say hey Brian hey, My name is Brian uh, I'm the event organizer mm. I'm one of the committee uh, mm. Are you new? Mm. Then we'll bring you inside When you're inside The first thing usually we'll do Is making sure that you are comfortable So we'll ask you Hey uh, Maybe you start with Getting the ball Let me teach you how to play dodgeball So We'll start with teaching you how to throw first. We'll teach you for the first 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, we will divide you guys into a certain amount of groups. M- minimum of six players in one group. In that group, usually we'll have experienced players in there. And then those experienced players are the ones that will be teaching you the rules and regulations. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So we'll give you about like 10 to 15 minutes to teach them, uh, you guys, the new uh, the rules and regulations. And then... The first 30 to 45 minutes when we were, we were going to be playing, I've already told most of my committee already that you, uh, their job is to make sure that they give you guys the balls mm. so that you guys are capable of throwing more, giving more opportunity to you guys to throw and mm. like uh, making sure that you guys are not scared of getting shot. You know, so yeah, that's yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. things that most of you guys are scared of is getting shot by people. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I'll make sure that that's something that you guys are going to feel used to. You know? mm. After that, once we know that you guys are getting better, that's where we start to uh, uh, whoever uh, like let's say the committee, uh, in that group. Oh, this guy's good already. Okay lah, we'll step it up a notch. Mm. So it really depends on how the committee in that group mm. wants to do it. If they think that their uh, their newcomers are good already, go for it. Mm. Yeah, but let's say in one group, everyone's already experienced. Mm. But like the other group, let's say one uh, non experienced, right? Yeah, we'll make sure that uh the group that's not uh, that has no newcomers will go easy la first first Turn time down la. yeah because yeah, yeah. it's not good la, you know like yeah, yeah, yeah. got newcomer there you need to scare them like yeah, you want to bully them yeah, 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 yeah you yeah. bully also is just growing your ego no point yeah, la, yeah, yeah. You know? you're gonna stroke your ego for what yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, okay, okay. Which, I so see. I think that's one thing um that's one of the uh factors that we are going through there's mm. a lot of here and there uh, that's stopping a lot of people to stay in dodgeball because they're right. scared yeah. and then like there was one point where um, the newcomers are being too rough onto Ooh. the newcomers and then the newcomers don't want to come anymore mm. uh, so that's something that us committees want to make sure that that doesn't happen yeah, anymore yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, another thing is like I think I love managing KDA in general because it's not a stagnant thing you know like mm. you know uh, most of like a process is usually very recurring yeah. re- uh, same thing yeah. but KDA itself not only because it's new mm. uh, but it's also because you don't know the pattern of everyone around yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. so you don't know what's going to happen today what's yeah. going to happen in the next session yeah. you know? uh, I enjoy because I, you will understand how to grind your brain to make sure that people stay you know? right. so I like, I like that, that part of managing KDA it, it's unpredictable yeah, yeah I really like that it sounds like you are always uh, expecting the worst. Yeah, you can say so. Yeah. You can say so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to make sure everything yeah. goes well. Yeah. But at the same time, you need to make sure that uh, the worst scenario is capable. You, you're you able to yeah, yeah, mitigate yeah. that happening. Yeah, yeah. From happening. Yeah. It might happen, so you, you get yourself prepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Very much. All right. Okay. Uh, future plans for KDA, what would it be? Uh, short term. Mm-hmm. We want to still focus on promoting dodgeball. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to start uh, growing the competitive scene here in Dodge, uh, in Kuching. Mm-hmm. So meaning to say, we want to not only let people come, oh, let's just play to like break a sweat, you know. We want to make sure that people come, oh, I want to win. I want to make mm-hmm. sure that I can win. So mm-hmm. we're not doing that in the Tuesday and Thursdays. Tuesday and Thursday is going to be social. Yeah. Sundays, where, we, where I coach, that's where we're actually going to make sure that people want to grow and get better mm. and then to make sure that their uh, their efforts are not going to waste right. we're going to do a lot of events so right. um, 
after our international event on end of the May, actually, uh, Asia Pacific Inv- Invitational, we're going to be playing against like US, Thailand, all those stuff people. Mm. Um, we're planning to do a lot of uh, local competitions to let people play. Mm. Um, and then maybe at, at the end of the year, we're going to be doing what do you call that? Coaching Open. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not bad. Um, so coaching open we want to try to bring people from around Malaysia um, especially West Malaysia so Penang KL Singapore if can Johor nice how do you see the um, dodgeball community in Malaysia as a whole are they active very active actually very active right? um, KL in in particular wait mm. give me a sec sorry <coughs> Try to open it Because I've tried I cannot open it You can What the fuck <laughs> Pressure first And then push Shit Yeah uh, I I even asked a friend To open it And he said Oh you said bro Really man? Yeah Oh No because Usually when it's like Very very popular yeah. You push it So you get the pressure And then you push Okay 101 Alright 101 listen there <laughs> Yeah Uh what what do you say it's not culture or the um the uh dodgeball community in Malaysia as a whole? Uh very different from Australia. Mm-hmm. Uh it's not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. People here in not not Kuching now, because Kuching is very new. Yeah. Um let's say the culture in KL, Penang, mm-hmm. Johor. I'd say they're very competitive. A super competitive. Um rival culture there is more uh where I'm from. I was in a I was in a dodgeball club where most of the people are very close to one another. They're very right. close to each other. Right. But it was very hard for them to bring new people in. Mm. You know? So it was a tough thing for me because I like to uh, I like to go around. I want to explore. I want to enjoy with everyone else. Right. And then because it was very close, I felt very controlled, uh, very chained. Mm. Yeah. But at the end of the day, maybe... I, I guess I learned a little bit here and there from that. Uh, pretty much. Uh, other than that, I, w- I can't say much of the, uh, about the culture. Other than it being very, very competitive. Mm. Everyone wants to win. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you want to say it's like social, maybe some part. Um, I have a friend in KL who's doing this. Started a dodgeball, so- social dodgeball club in KL. So it's very different from every other culture right. where they allow everyone from different clubs to come to his uh, session to play with one another pretty much. Mm, okay, I see. Alright. Um, KDA, the challenges that you face in starting up, what are they? Mm-hmm. One of it would probably be maintaining the people uh, that comes to dodge, the drop-in sessions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah, so one of the stereotypes was... What was it? One of the stereotypes that we had was dodgeball being a very rough sport. Mm. But... Sorry. Oh, my God. Yeah. The <coughs> thing. Oh, God damn. Something's wrong here. Anyways. Um, dodgeball being a very rough sport. Yeah. Um, they think that when you get shot, you get hurt. Yeah. But the thing is, like, dodgeball, the ball itself is very soft. It's a, a foam dodgeball, actually. Seven-inch foam dodgeball, where you can actually just pinch all the way if you want to. So, one of the challenge that we had was actually maintaining people because of the stereotype that a lot of right. that people had. Especially um, ladies. La. Correct, yes. Mm. So, one of the way that we tried to make sure that that's uh, mitigated or, like, lessened is actually... Separating Tuesday and Thursday from each other. So Tuesday is where we do mix. All guys and girls can play with one another. Right. Whereas on Thursday, we split the men's from uh from all the uh women's. So men's play with men's, women's play with women's. So at least with that, it will stop people from thinking that it's gonna be a rough sport, like. Yeah. Mm, okay. Pretty okay. much. All right. Uh, what sort of events you have done, KDA? Um, right now, usually we will be doing a culture, culture, festive, festive season, oh. uh, dodgeball. Oh. So it's just like a team dodgeball where during the drop-in session, we'll ask people to join the, eh, to use like, 
uh, costumes or so let's say like Christmas we ask people to use like anything Christmas yeah no. possible can run with your Santa Claus costume I have a friend during Chinese New Year use Jiang Sum with high heels it's style though I'm like <laughs> what <laughs> I don't know how she do it, but like, wow. <laughs> she made it possible. Uh. Yeah. Shit. So like, I think about three of them were using Cheong Sam that day. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. So it's really, cool. really, really cool. Yeah. So, I think because Raya just ended, we're mm. probably going to do another like, festive season mm. uh, dodgeball. Raya like, dodgeball. Yeah. So like, what? Mm. Like, uh, like, Imagine like, Gawai, dude. <laughs> All the ngapan and stuff. Dude, I, I was thinking about it. I'm like, how is people going to bring things here? Yeah. Uh? <laughs> Oh, I use the shield. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Abang kau, yeah, salong. Yeah. <laughs> 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 every every court goes salong, salong. Yeah, salong, salong. We know, we know, we know. Before my, we know, we know, salong. Yeah, I'll be the salong guy, lah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come, come, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. One day, one day, I would love to come. Okay, love to come. Okay, okay, yeah, you should try. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the first one, the festive season. Yeah. The other one was we had like an inter. Interstate dodgeball competition. Mm. We brought people from Unima. So um, before I actually started KDA, mm. I was actually asked by the Straw Dodgeball Association to bring dodgeball to Unima. Actually, so um, help people help them uh, do the curriculum for Unima. Eh, for dodgeball in Unima. Right. Uh, in March last year, then this year. We brought them to play with us during mm. the dodgeball competition, and then also people from Mary. Mm. So we had a total of five teams: two from KDA, one from Unimas, and two from Mary. Mm. All of them came. It was a very uh, successful event, like I say. Mm. Uh, one thing that we had a problem usually last time we met for an event is like time management, but the time management for that competition was really spot on. Yeah, it was yeah. Really good. Um, then the next one is community tournament. Mm. So people in the drop-in session, we will have like a community tournament where in one of our drop-in session on our less uh, at least twice, thrice, three times a, a year lah, mm. we'll try to do a community tournament where I people see. from our community will be playing with one another on a random yeah. So they'll be fighting for a cash prize or like mm. anything lah, pretty much. I see. So pretty much you and Shawa, those ball association have been working hand in hand lah. You can say so lah. You can say yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, right now not much. We're more of um, helping only the district, coaching district, mm. coaching district. Um, but we do want to try to bring more people in Sarawak. We want to try to focus more on Sarawak on day. Yeah. Uh, right now I already have uh, connections for Miri. Have people from uh, Yima. Hopefully Swinburne one day. All the mm. stuff. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the goals of KDA lah. You wanna ex- expose. Dodgeball to universities, Correct. schools. Mm. Are you guys on the on the way on doing Ooh, that? Yes, we are actually. Yeah. Uh, we've already been. Uh, we're currently in the talks with Matlintang, mm. Kapo, Matlintang, <laughs> Lodge School, uh, Chumbo Number Three and One, I think. Mm. So we're gonna be tra- We're gonna go to with the to the PKM all those stuff to talk about that pretty much. How about your high school, dude? Senyo? Yeah. I haven't gone to them yet. <laughs> I think I should. Uh, yeah. But you, but you chose Battling Tang first. Like, yeah. To be fair, la, the only reason why is because we have uh, people from Battling Tang right now, like studying there, you know. So we have connections oh. to ask them to talk to their principal rather than us. Uh, okay, like, okay. you ask me from St. Joe, I'm not even the alumni. Yeah, you yeah. ask me to talk to them. Like, <laughs> scary, la, you know. Yeah, you didn't even join the marathon. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So okay. one day, la, one day we'll go to St. Joe also. Um, uh. We'll probably do St. Joe lah, but the yeah, thing yeah, is yeah. like, I will never work for the easy, easy one first. Now. I see. Much. Okay, okay. So St. Joe is hard lah, according to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But the link down. Um, Alright, okay. So what are the future goals and aspirations that you want to see in KDA? Uh, future goals and aspirations. Doesn't have to be KDA lah. Dodgeball in general lah. Uh, let's just put Sarawak lah. Okay. Um, for Sarawak, I really want to... The goal, the, the, the final goal is probably be capable of bringing Sarawak to the national leagues one day. Right. So, the national dodgeball competition mm-hmm. uh, yeah, in Malaysia itself, they're yeah. very focused on the central Malaysia. So, mm-hmm. West Malaysia lah. Yeah, yeah. So, East Malaysia, they actually <coughs> haven't asked. We've never played with them, against them or played with them. Mm. So, at the end of the day, uh, once we're capable of bringing dodgeball around, not only in Kuching or Miri, 
si Bula bin tulu lah, yeah, yeah. We were able we were able to do a proper official interstate dodgeball competition or league, where at the end of the day we have grand finals, and then let's say top three of Sarawak team will go to NDC or uh, national dodgeball competition. Mm. We go to uh, West Malaysia to uh, represent ah uh, represent compete uh, for Sarawak. Yeah. Pretty much. I see. Mm. So that's the final goal lah. We want to try to put our name out there not only for our state but also for the mm. national team. I see. For the kid A right now, right? It uh, does it <laughs> does it only focusing on the young adults or any young ones also joining in right now? Um, right now our age limit is actually fourteen. Fourteen. Mm. The only reason why is because of safety precaution. Mm-hmm. Uh, imagine la, like let's say Small a kids. very strong person should you know like they're not fully developed. Mm. We're scared that it's gonna injure them right. more than they they get injured like when you're already fully developed. Yeah. Mm. So that's We have an age Of just 14 mm. If you're older than that Up to like 50, 60 If you want to play Can We mm. don't mind Pretty okay. much mm. The reason why I ask is because uh, Probably you have plans To Start up The grassroots of Pitching dodgeball From the young You know And mm. build them And um, expose them with dodgeball Hopefully it will Bloom and grow For the next couple of years Yeah the Grassroots stuff We actually Recently, actually, last mm. week itself, we had a talk with this one association. Actually, uh, they were asking us about whether or not we were interested in collaborating with them mm. to teach children or like have a weekly, at least a weekly event of dodgeball for the children. It's a social dodgeball event. Um, we were saying a talk. Um, but they said that we they would like to try to do, uh, what's it called? Again? A trial, a trial run in July. Mm. Yeah, so we're we're definitely gonna do it. Mm. Uh, it's not it's not out of the uh, question. It's just not a priority to us right now. Yes, yes, yes. If we're not able to get out what we want right now, it's yeah. very hard for us to think about the grassroots. You know. Correct. Correct. Mm. Correct. Maintain what what you have right now. Correct. correct. Yeah, and then you see how it goes. Huh? Yeah, but yeah, we we do have that in mind already. It's just not a, um, we will put that put that in our calendar. It's right. just not something that we were. Uh, prioritizing that much, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. Mm, okay, okay, okay. All right. Where can we find KDA? KDA. Yeah. We play in Arena, Arena okay. Sukatan. If you want to know more information about KDA, yes. you can go and find us at www.dodgeballcoaching.com. Oh, that's your website, huh? Yeah, we actually made a website. Mahal, okay? Even. No, no, no. no. It's, yeah. it's, it's not mahal. It's free. Oh! Yeah, but... How? Dude, it takes two weeks of... <laughs> Your sweat tears, man. Serious. Yeah, I I made the whole thing by myself. Um, Teach me, man. It's just Google site. Seriously. Serious. Yeah, Google site. Uh, you just need to learn how to put here and there, how to use this and that, oh. and then it's very easy. Yeah, Google oh. site. Uh, only downside is that when you write www dot dot your platform, Domain, yeah, it's rather than you having that platform, you just. Uh, you, you will be directed to they call sites dot google dot com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, So uh, you don't have your your proper website like that. Mm-hmm. So you have to buy the domain lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. So you buy the domain. Lah. You buy lah. Uh, so I say mahal. Have to lah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. There's a website there. All right. Where else can we find you? Uh, Barry the Barry Show. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> There's a plug there Okay okay uh, okay <laughs> What's it You can find us on Instagram We're very very active On Instagram Right uh, Dodgeball Kuching At Dodgeball Kuching Or you want to go Facebook Also Dodgeball Kuching mm. Pretty much Um. Yeah All three of that If you Pretty much if you go to our website You have everything there All, all our information is there uh, The best way to contact us Is actually through our WhatsApp So we have a WhatsApp community group Over there Everyone talks a lot Like <laughs> In one hour, if I focus on my work, ah, uh, I look at my phone. Suddenly, got one thousand message. You know? Damn. Don't know how, but okay, cool, cool, not bad. At least it shows that it's very active. Yeah. Like. That's why I need two phones, bro. <laughs> yes, <laughs> work phone, personal phone. Yes. And then I have a dodgeball phone. Yes. Oh. <laughs> only dodgeball, only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay. So where can we find you personally? Me personally, ah. Uh, yeah. Are you are you are you public on your Instagram, bro? Oh yeah, yes. I'm public on Instagram. Ah. Uh, Instagram, I am uh, at Darren Robin. Mm. On Facebook, I am Darren Robin. Mm. I think that's all you can find me. I, I don't see. have a lot of uh, mm. social platforms, pretty much. In relationship, single? Single. single. Okay, yeah. single. Okay, go girls. Those who want to play dodgeball for free for the rest of your life, <laughs> this is the guy to be. <laughs> <laughs>
plug in. Eh. I don't know lah. Right now, honestly lah, cannot lah. Very very hard lah. Have you tried Tinder though? I already tried. Ada nasib sih lah. Ada lah. Are you still on Tinder? I am actually still. Okay, okay, it's okay. Just okay. uh, one is actually right now very busy. I just started work. Alright. So like I got work, I got touchable, and then I got social life. So I want to put like relationship in there. Ah, uh, and then another one is like. I don't know lah. Very hard lah. Very hard. I try. I tried going a few dates last time. I don't know. It, it just didn't work out. Yeah. I see. Maybe it's because of the online dating life lah. I don't know. I'm more of the. I want to know you. I want to be friends with you. Baru I think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, online dating, dating in general now, it's pretty hard these days, right? Yes. If you notice. It's difficult yes. to like. Where to date? How to date? Do you have time for it? You know what's the one thing thing that I'm very takut about? Okay, what? You go to this one place, right? And then you see your friend there, like ah, I don't ah, see you, I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> fam, fam, fam. Been there before, right? Like, I brought a, uh, imagine like example. I brought a girl in, and like shit, that's my friend. Yeah, you're like, I've never told anyone about this. How yeah, to do yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Or if you if you're going out with this girl, right, and then you're like. Oh, do you know this person? Oh yeah, he was my ex. He was my ex boyfriend. He's actually my cousin. Oh, my oh. best friend. Oh yeah. Okay, but you have to agree, right? Everyone in Kuching know everyone. Kuching is small, dude. <laughs> Too small, Too man. Too small. That's why. That's why I'm so scared of dating on Tinder now. To a point where, shit, this person knows my past. No, oh, no, no, no. I don't date her. Okay, yeah. there's one thing that a friend of mine said. Mm. When you date someone, right? Mm. You need to have good review. So that the next time if you guys break up, can yeah, yeah. they can give good review to yes. you? Yes. You, you know, I'm like, you're not wrong, there. You know, Kuching yeah, yeah. very small. That was very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to make good impression, lah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is true. That's why I'm not dating for now because Kuching is small. Everyone Can't knows everyone. Yeah, you're very scared, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless like a really, unless it's really worth it, then you go for it, lah. Yeah. That's how you see it now, lah. Mm. Mm. Like. If there's any po- anyone potential, it's more of like, not about the connection right now. Mm. It's more of like whether or not, uh, there's a future there. You know? mm. Yeah. I see. All right. So that's the end of the podcast. Ooh. Talk about dodgeball Ooh. and suddenly talk about Tinder out of nowhere and, yeah, <laughs> everything in between. This is very random, lah. This podcast is very random. Yeah. All right. So this is episode twenty five. Any last words you want to say? Um. Do try dodgeball if you're in Kuching. Uh, you never know if you like it until you try it. Seriously, mm. you really have to try it one day. Cool. That's about dodgeball. And uh, about yourself, in last words. Uh, I don't have a lot to say about myself. I'm very mysterious. If you want to know me, you can just talk to me on, uh, Instagram. I'm very free, not free. Sorry, I'm very open to talking. It's just that I don't reply fast. Slide to my DMs, going. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So thank you, Darren, for being here. Episode twenty five. No problem. Uh, it's a fun one. Talking about dodgeball, talking about life, yeah. and everything in between. And uh, let's hang out more after this. Yes. Yeah. I we should hang out. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Happy Labor's friends. Day, man. Oh, happy Labor's Day. Yeah, <laughs> happy Labor's Day. Yeah. <laughs> this is the labor that we've been laboring. The celebration we have, man. Hmm. Um, cheers also to a new friendship yes. and uh, bloom and grow our friendship. Yes, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Remember, we we just met today. We just met today. Yeah, we just met today. <laughs> yeah. Funny, funny how things work. You know, like Actually, yeah. what was it? We we uh, you knew about KDA also from uh, a friend I, of ours, right? I knew from a lot of people like Kevin, uh, Brian, uh, Brayden, Brian. I follow these three guys like, on my Instagram. Uh, That's how I know about Kuching Dodge Ball. I'm like, um, these guys has been spamming. I'm like, eh, it's <laughs> the best la. Shit, man. For more, you know? Yeah. You guys have you, have, you guys have your games on weekdays. I'm like, eh, 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 shit. If only you guys have games on weekends. But, yeah. Okay, okay. We'll think about that. We'll think about that. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the end of the podcast. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Uh, available on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. If you're lazy to watch YouTube videos, this Spotify video, you can just watch and listen, or you can listen while you're driving or whatever you want to do. And uh, episode twenty five with Darren Robin and here, and uh, see you in the next video. Ciao. Ciao.